Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 and a half years and I absolutely love it. And today I have a wet sold video for you. I'm going to share some items that sold last week, which was January 23rd through 29th. But first I have to send out two very special thank yous to Rita and Chris. They both bought me coffees this week. So thank you so much for your kindness, your sweet notes, and for your support. I appreciate it so very much. This week, I sold 27 items for a gross amount of $552.82, which is low. So what do I do when I have really slow sales? I combat it with listing. So I started out this week really trying to list a lot more and it's paying off. Next week's what sold video is going to be so much better. It really, really pays to list. This is going to be a shorter what sold video because I don't want to waste your time with just fluff. I want to share the things that I feel like will be valuable to share. Next week's video will be a lot longer because I will have a lot more valuable items to share, but I do have some good things this week. On eBay, I sold 14 items for a gross amount of $293.33. It outperformed Poshmark this week. The first item that I sold, I picked up on complete accident. I was at the Goodwill bins and I can never get a cart there. I think every out of all of the times that I've been there, I've only gotten a cart two times. So I usually take some bags. Well, I didn't have enough bags this time and that's okay because I can always find bags lying around and just use those to fill up. So I grabbed a couple bags, had my haul, took these home. Well, just the other day I looked at the bag and I was like, Hmm, maybe I should look that up. Noticed it had tags on it. I looked it up and those sold comps were great. This was the new with tags Chico bag travel pack. It said repeat on it compact recycled duffel. I put keywords on there, hiking and camping. It sold for $40.15. My earnings were $27.67. I paid just 87 cents at the Goodwill bins and, it'll, and it only took three days to sell. My profit was $26.80. I cannot believe that. I was so excited and I'm so glad I took the time to look that up. The next item is a big book and I know to pick these up just from experience because I was a teacher and a reading specialist and I used these big books all the time. And when I stopped teaching, I had quite a few of them and I sold them on eBay and they sold fast for really good money. So now when I see them, I pick them up if I can find them for a good enough price. And usually it is at garage sales. Well, this one I picked up for just 10 cents. This one was called Dan the Flying Man by Joy Cow. It was from the Wright Group and I put on their shared reading and it was the emergent level and all that stuff. You don't have to know that. It says it right on the book. So if you just take those keywords on the book, then, then it's really easy to describe. It sold for $13.64. My earnings were $8.21. I paid just 10 cents at a garage sale and it took just two days to sell. My profit was $8.11. So it's not a great profit, but sometimes if you go to garage sales and you find retired teachers, there can be a gold mine at garage sales like that. And this one I had purchased a while ago and I had just put it behind a dresser, forgot about it. We moved the dresser, I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't list that. It was just sitting there. So I went ahead and listed it and it sold fast as they always have for 17 and a half years. That's one thing that hasn't lost popularity and whenever it's a book, I send the medium mail. That is such inexpensive shipping. The next item was a bins fine. This was a beautiful coat, excellent condition. It was so soft. I had never heard of the brand, but I picked it up at the bins and it just looked such nice quality. It was a size 2X excellent condition that I thought I'm picking this up no matter what. It was called Chabella and it was a faux fur brown coat jacket. It was hooded size 2XL. I also put women's 2X. Whenever it's a size such as 2XL, I'll also put 2X. That way it will catch people that search either by 2XL or by 2X. It sold for $52.65. My earnings were $29.07. I paid just $3.02 at the Goodwill bins. It took three and a half months to sell and my profit was $26.05. The next item came from a thread up shoe box. And when I initially saw this pair of shoes, I was like, oh, H&M, 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 you know, oh, they're new with tags. 
So brand new with tags. So eight and a half, good size, cute style. So we'll see. I mean, they, they might not do great, but I think they'll sell and I think they'll do decent and um, I'll pop up exactly how much it is per shoe, but I'm sure I'll double or triple my money with these. I learned that from the box that I thought was a bad box because even if they don't sell for a lot, oh, Uggs! But you know what? It sold fast and for what I think is a decent amount. It's the new with tags H&M Ballet Flats Shoes Pointed Toe Faux Vegan Suede Diagonal Strap Size 40, which is equivalent to a USA 8.5. They sold for $24.55. My earnings were $12.13. I paid $5.62 in my latest thread up rescue box and they only took 23 days to sell. My profit was $6.51. So not a huge amount of profit, but they were delivered to my door. There were other items in that box that sold a lot more. Quick, easy, I'm happy with that. The next one was an item that had just been lying around my house. It's an Abercrombie & Fitch Muscle A&F 92 long sleeve that it had just been sitting around. And I asked my husband, is this yours? He said, no. I was like, I don't know where this came from. So I went ahead and listed it because Abercrombie & Fitch seems to be picking back up. It was, it sold so well for the longest amount of time that it really died down, but I'm noticing more sales for Abercrombie & Fitch. So I thought I'm going to just try to sell this and see what happens. So it sold for $17.23. My earnings were $9.34. I put a cost of goods of zero. It was just lying around the house. So my profit was $9.34. And I had another item like that of something that was just lying around the house. If you look around your house, a lot of times you can find things that will sell that you might have otherwise just thrown away or donated or it just sits there and collects dust. So I like every once in a while going around the house and going, okay, what is this? Do we really need this? Do we use this? How about I list it? The next item that I found just lying around the house was a lot of three iWorld USB type C charging cables, five feet. I put heavy duty with durable metal springs. They sold for $23.53. My earnings were $14.16. Zero cost of goods, just found them around the house not being used, and my profit was $14.16. So look around your house and see what kind of money you just have lying around waiting. Next on Poshmark, I sold 11 items for $196. Most of them were liquidation. Most of them I've shared before, so I'm not going to waste your time and go over things that I have shown previously. I had a couple things that weren't liquidation. There was a Harold skirt. It was pink with a design of black and white, size 12, it was lined. Harold's was a very nice, expensive store, really quality clothing that has gone out of business. I still pick those items up sometimes. They take a little while to sell, but I know they are such good quality that I have a hard time leaving them behind. This one sold for $15. My earnings were $12. I paid just 57 cents at the Goodwill bins. It did take me almost a year to sell it. My profit was $11.43. So, Probably not the best pickup, but I liked picking that up and saving that really nice skirt. I'm betting that skirt was over $100 retail, so I was glad to pick it up and find a new home for it. Then I sold a couple swimsuits this week. I've been working on listing swimsuits from my swimsuit haul so that they will be ready to go. Hopefully I will have them all listed by March 15th and some of them are selling. One that sold this week was the Hula Honey Oceanfront Striped Push-Up Bikini in size small. It sold for $19. My earnings were $12.74. I paid just $2 on my great swimsuit deal and my profit was just $10.74. But those are pretty quick to list and I got such a good deal on them. This one took four and a half months to sell. Then on Macari, I sold two items for $63.49. The first one was this beautiful throw. I ran into Goodwill. I only had a few minutes. I was in and out in less than 10 minutes. And I thought, I'm just going to look for a couple things, see if there's something great in there. So I went to electronics, picked up one thing, and that sold in this week. So that will be on next week, so it sold. And then I picked up this blanket. I went and looked in the linens because sometimes there can be really good things in the linens. And this was the Noah's Ark 
50 by 60 throw blanket tapestry woven. It said American Weavers 1997. So I put the 1997, but I also put the 90s because I think there's a lot more likelihood that somebody's going to be searching by 90s rather than 1997. So when something like that happens, if it says 1982, I'll put 80s. If it says 1974, I'll put 1974 and I'll also put 70s. I also put nursery in case someone is looking for things to put in Noah's Ark nursery. It sold for $26.84. My earnings were $16.25. I paid $4.24 at my local Goodwill and it took just four days to sell. My profit was $12.01. Then I made a mistake, <laughs> but I resolved it very quickly and she is happy and it all worked out. And that is the key. When you make a mistake, I think the best policy is contact them right away, have great communication, apologize and do everything you can to make it right. And it normally always turns out, and even when someone starts out really mad, if you apologize and they see that you're trying to make an effort, usually it really turns around and they end up being really nice in the end. So this one was the new with tags, love story, bra, bralette, and bikini panty set, small Valentine's Day. I put Valentine's Day because I thought this is perfect. Maybe someone will be searching for that. Well, it sold right away for $36.65. My earnings were $28.44. I paid $7.21 and my profit would have been $21.23. However, she received it and she said, you sent two pairs of panties to me, not the bra and panty. And I really wanted this before Valentine's Day. I don't know what to do. So when I saw that come in, I dropped everything. I went to my bucket to see if I made a mistake. And sure enough, I sent the two pair of panties and not the bra. When I had listed it, I put a sticker to attach the bra with the panties because I thought that way I know these two go together. And then I had another pair of panties separate and I thought I'm not going to mess it up that way. Well, I did. When I put that sticker together, I must have stuck the two panties together. So I should have double checked and triple checked. So. I immediately messaged her back and I said, I am so very sorry. I can't believe I did that. I, I will have the bra to you before Valentine's Day. I will mail it first thing in the morning. Keep the extra pair of panties. You can resell them. You can keep them, whatever, whatever you want. I am so sorry. I will send the tracking number to you in the morning. And she was so nice. She texted back and, and she offered to mail the extra panties back. She said if I enclosed postage for her, she would send them back. So I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so what I did was I went to PayPal and they now have ShipStation and you can ship through PayPal using ShipStation. So I just looked up her label from Macari, got her address and printed postage to her. And then I printed another label with the address going to me, put a poly mailer, that had the return postage on it inside with the bra, wrote a note to her that told her thank you for being so kind and send it out the very next morning, sent the tracking to her. She was very kind, nice, wonderful. And so one thing that I like about making mistakes, which I try not to make them, but I just do sometimes, even when I try really hard to be conscientious, is it shows me how kind people are. So that part of making mistakes, I like. Now we will go over my numbers. I won't read off every single number, but I will pop it up on the side. And if you want to pause it and look more closely, you can so that I don't bore you by reading off all of these numbers, but I will give you an overview. I sold a gross amount of 27 items for $552.82. Money back in the bank was $345.27. My cost of goods was $113.74. And my profit was $231.50. On eBay, 14 items for $293.33. I ended up with a profit of $128.38. Poshmark, 11 items for a gross amount of $196. Profit of $77.07. On Macari, two items for $63.49. And my profit was $26.08. Next week is going to be much better. So stick around with me. The week already started out so much better. So I am confident the rest of this week is going to go better because I'm going to list a lot more and I am going to try really hard to have a lot more good information to share with you next week. Of the 27 items that I sold, 14 were liquidation, 
nine were thrifted and four were retail arbitrage. So that is everything that I have for you today if you are still here watching. So thank you so much and everybody have a great week. Bye.